Hello everyone, this is Introvert Shy Guy, and welcome back to Super Mario 64. Okay, so we're left off, it's the usual, just collecting some, some more stars before I feel like facing Bowser, and that's what we're doing right now. So yeah, anyway, today's October the 4th. It's a little, uh, I would, I just like to mention, I didn't really play anything last week because me and my family had to prepare for Hurricane Ian, which thankfully didn't hit in my area where I lived, although for those who lived in, who live in Fort Myers or, or Naples, these two cities, they were hit the hardest and therefore, like, were extremely damaged, but we basically dodged a bullet where a lot of people thought it was gonna hit somewhere in Central Florida, so... So that's good, you know, that, like, it missed us. I mean, of course, for those of you who live in that area, it is quite unfortunate that that, that happened and stuff, but... At the, at the very least, you know, like, we're safe and everything. So basically, that's kind of why, I, I mean, like, if there was, like, just one week hiatus, I wasn't able to play anything, so... That's what happened, but thankfully, nothing bad happened so far. Hopefully there won't be another hurricane, like, cause... I'd be really pissed off if that were the case. Of course, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm preparing to move out. For those of you who are still in Florida, honestly, I advise you all to move out whenever you can, cause, like, you know, climate change is happening and stuff. I'm just gonna do, now, for this, I'm gonna just do one more level, because I feel like, I really feel like I wanna face Bowser at some point. Cause I'm now running, running out of levels to play. And this is like the only one that I know to do. Like, of course, this one, you just have to go up at the snowman's head, so that's what I'm going to do. And I already made a copy of of one file, especially the one where I got, like, a, a lot of stars. Shit, I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. Yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. We're just going up on the snowman's head. So, yeah. So I guess what I'd like to talk about is... You know, I have- I am preparing to move back. I mean, I, right now I have to find out what apartment to live in, and I haven't done that just yet. Of course, I'm kind of leaving- I'm kind of pushing out a little bit later. I mean, of course, now is- this month is the perfect time to do it. Fuck. Oh, at least it didn't get damaged. Hang on. Oh, fuck. I wonder- I, yeah, I wonder if it would do a lot more damage if you're in the cold water, but I mean, it didn't happen to- Happened with the snow bully, but it didn't happen to Mario, so that's good. There we go. Yeah, so now we have to go up. So I wasn't able to play this level because this is the part where you'd lose uh, your cap if it gets blown off. Anyway, hang on. Uh, there we go. I just had to move the microphone, so apology apologies if there was any like audio. There's some funny stuff happening in the audio. I, I mean, I, I, I did set it up, but it just didn't look, like, right, you know? Anyway, now look at this. Hey, who's there? What's climbing on me? Is it an ice ant? A snow flea? <clears throat> Whatever it is, it's bugging me. I think I'll, I'll blow it away. So now the snowman can blow. We have to wait for this penguin. Yeah. And the point of this guy, he basically block. Oh shit. See, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Well, it blew my cap away, but... There we go. I got it back. So I didn't lose it. That's nice. Oh shit, and there's another star right here. I'm not gonna do this one. I remember in the, the DS version where there was a star trapped in the ice, but all you have to do is just use Yoshi and use that, like, flower thingy, and what it does is it gives you the ability to spit fire. So, you basically just do that, and then you get that star. Anyway, let's try again. So like I said, this is gonna be the last level I play. Of course, I didn't wake up that early, so it's like, right now about to be 6 o'clock. I mean, I think it's enough time, but I mean, I don't know, you're like... Usually I'd prefer more, but, like I said, it's how I wake up and everything. Oh. So, at the very least, losing my cap isn't a big deal. I'm playing this on file A, I want to finish the Bowser thing on this file, so it's like, if I lose the cap here, then I'd have to get out and, like... Yeah. 
Oh, damn. Okay. It's right there. Alright, let's try again. So, yeah, so... Yeah, I just like to tell you guys just how things are going. And as and I'd like to mention to you guys that it is kind of meant to be that I'm supposed to move in Rhode Island and do Johnson and Wales because I just got a, a letter from University of Massachusetts Boston and they said that they accepted me. Oh, of course, there's a twist where apparently, um, hold on, excuse me, um, they accepted me, but they only accepted me for physics. They didn't accept me for electrical engineering because they said that they looked at my grades and they said it wasn't like good enough so because of that I'm technically not accepted for electrical engineering just physics. Now I love physics but I want to do electronics because I already did some of the main courses so yeah you can say it's kind of meant to be that I didn't oh fuck I didn't get accepted there so that means like uh Johnson & Wales is a is a definite like yes uh, I mean is a definite place where I'm going, I would say. Or college to take, not place where I'm going. I mean, place, Ro Rhode Island, yeah, so. So yeah, there you go. Oh, uh, why the fuck you went backwards? That's so bullshit. Anyway. There you go. That's so bullshit that this penguin did that. There we go. I did it. Now if I don't fall down, that'd be great. Okay. Be careful. Got it. And what time is it? It's 6 o'clock right now! Okay, so now we'll do the Bowser battle. I know there are a few more stars to collect here. And I can save it. Yeah, yeah, because I still have my cap on. And I know I could do the... I, I, I still have more stars to collect, but I, I feel like now things are getting much harder. Compared to Super Mario Galaxy, I feel like Galaxy is easier than this game. So because of that, uh, maybe I'll do the stars later. If I ever feel like doing an SMG, like SM64 and stuff, then I would do it. But for now, I really feel like I just want to do Bowser, finish this game up, and also focus more on uh, Princess of Angel. Maybe if I feel like I want to talk more, especially about politics, because it is October now, so things are really heating up, then maybe I could talk about it in my Super Mario Galaxy, like in S my SMG parts and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to get a drink, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Now let's do the Bowser battle. So hang on, we're going to now present the stars to break the never-ending up. Oh, okay, so I thought you'd have to show the stars to, in order to access it. I don't know if I've already did it before, maybe like, you know, it, it just doesn't happen. So yeah, that's the final area, just a picture of Bowser, because that's the where Bowser actually is. So yeah, let's do it. Alright, so this one, I don't think it's maybe, oh, it could be challenging, but at least there's no lava and stuff, but still, uh... You know, it's been it's been some time since I've done this level, so let's see if I'll if I'll be able to do it right. You know, I think I might do it. But I'm pretty much I'm pretty cautious about it. So yeah, I guess I'd say I'm gonna move to Rhode Island soon. Now of course, even though I said I was gonna move to Rhode Island, that doesn't mean like if, if say things don't go well in the state that maybe living there isn't that ideal. Like, say, compared to, maybe I would have been better off if I was living in Colorado. Uh, then that could happen, maybe I could move there and stuff, but... I genuinely feel like, my, like, Rhode Island's a... Ah, jeez, even when I was under there? Fuck. Okay. Let's try again. Mamma mia! If that wouldn't ha- I wouldn't affect me because I was, like, hanging on the ledge. Alright. <clears throat> <Yeah. 
<coughs> so yeah, so... I will move to Rhode Island, but there could be a possibility where I may, if I feel like it, move to Colorado. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be Rhode Island now. I mean, of course, some of you guys are wondering, wait, like, why are you suddenly, like, getting cold feet over this? Like, isn't, you know, the state of uh, Colorado where you want to, to go? And I would say yes, of course, but, like, you never know. Yeah, okay. That's it. So it still works, even... Oh, shit. There we go. Ah, oh, fuck. I know there's another way to go up there. If you remember the the Ferris wheel, like you know, you could reach up to the to the thing where you need to go. Oh, fuck. But I just want to do it this way. Fuck. Hang on. There we go. Oh. Oh yeah, that was close. Wait. wait. There we go. Let's get rid of this guy. So he won't throw me off. Like, literally throw me off like where I'm supposed to go, but also throw me off this place. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn, that was close. Made it. Yeah, see, it's been a while since I've played this level, so there could be a few, you know, bumps in the road and stuff, but I think I'll be able to do it. Anyway. Just fall down here. I don't mind taking fall damage because there are areas to heal up. I'm not gonna get that. Like right here. So yeah, so... I mean, I can tell you guys my, my thoughts about the place I went, you know, Providence, and it's actually pretty good, although I will admit, it does look... Like my parents mentioned this, like, it does kind of look old-fashioned, like not modern and stuff, which is which makes sense because it is one of the original like colonies when this nation was, was founded, so... And I would say it looks nice, but... Like, if you want to know something about you guys, like what kind of ideal place I'd like to... what, what it looks like... Of course, I was, I, w I was expecting it not to be a big city, which is good, because I'm fine with how it looks and stuff, but I guess, like... You know, ideally, I, I, you know, this big city where I, where I, like, feel comfortable in and looks nice is like, oh shit, wow, what was that? Uh, is the city of Vancouver, which is where my cousins live, and hence that's why I'm like, you know, like, I consider Vancouver like my second home and stuff, uh, because of that. And, like, if I were to live in a big city, I would hope for it to look something like that. But of course I am aware it's not a big city, because because Providence only has like a po- Oh my god, are you serious? I was gonna say Providence only has like a population of over 100,000, whereas like Vancouver has like... I don't know, I could be wrong, is it like over a million or something? Like a, a huge number obviously, but you know. Um, and yeah, so... Hence, hang on... There we go, yes. We're still not there yet, but we're almost there. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're almost there. I remember, you just go on these things. Oh yeah, and there it is. Okay, yeah, so, I mean, it's a little challenging, but not that challenging. Now, of course, there's the wind. There are those Goombas. I know I can get that one up over there, but I think I'll be getting it if I need it. Yeah, so I was expecting it to feel somewhat like... Like, like Vancouver is like my ideal place. Of course it doesn't look like it, but maybe I think I'll be good enough. Of course, even I, where I live, my suburban area, it kind of looks kind of like that. So maybe I, I'll be used to it. That's what I'm trying to say is that I hope I'll be able to get used to this new area. And I am getting prepared for it. 